Today we'll be with Mrs. Salter, who's going to demonstrate making slime. Excellent. Slime is so much fun to make. You can make it at your house just like we do here at school. All right, Miss Michaela, do you see the two cups over there? One that says water and one that says water and glue. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Grab both of those. All right. Now, the first ingredient that we need to make this slime is we need water. See the cup of water right over there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right here, I've measured where it says one cup water. Fill that up till you get to that line. All right. That will save over here for a moment. This, put the water, you know what? We'll put the water off to the side for a minute. And now, do you see the box of borax? Mm -hmm. We need that. You can find more at the grocery store in the laundry detergent aisle. It's actually for your laundry to make it bright and white, but it makes really great slime too. The one teaspoon measuring. We need to fill that full of borax. One teaspoon full. You can probably just put your spoon in maybe. Let's see, because it's a brand new box. Can you reach it? No. No? All right. Here's one I'll help. All right. Get enough in there. Excellent. All right, you're going to put that right into your cup of water. And you can set the spoon off to the side and then stir it up. So that's one teaspoonful of borax into one cup of water. And you stir it for just a, a few moments till it all pretty much dissolves away. Pretty good? Not bad? All right, we're going to set that off to the side for a minute as well big container of glue. You can use the small Elmer's glue like you get normally at the store, but because we're at school, we've got the big industrial size. So, all right, sweet pea. Unscrew the cap. Can you do it? <laughs> no, no, I need my Mrs. Salter muscles. There we go. All right, you're gonna pour in one half cup of glue. Okay. Comes out pretty fast. Excellent. Alrighty, we'll move this out of our way. Now, do you see where it says another space for water? Mm -hmm. Take the water that you poured there up all the way to that mark. Boom. Excellent. Now, slime is fun in colors. I grabbed out blue today. Add some blue food colors in there. So how many um uh, four or five? Probably pretty good because those are more than just drops. So I think you're pretty good there. So, got it. Now take this spoon right here and stir that up. Get it all mixed together. It should turn into a beautiful blue. I think this is going to make wonderful slime. I'm sure it will. And when you think it's all mixed well, we're going to go on to what's next. I think it's pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Would you grab a paper towel and then you can set that beside and put the spoon on that so you don't make too much of a mess. And so we let it sit? No, nope. well, we're just going to empty, put that spoon right onto the napkin. All right, and I'm going to give you back your one cup of water with the one teaspoon of borax in there. And what you're going to do. There's a few little bits of borax left in there. We don't want to pour that into the slime, but all the rest of the liquid we want to pour in. So go ahead and pour that right in. All of it? Yep. Until you get to the very end. Stop right there. That'll be good. All right, now take that blue spoon and stir some more. And it should start to be getting a little oopy, a little goopy. Uh, and uh, hold up your spoon. Show them what's happening right now. Hold it up. Pull, pull up your spoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got some slime. All right. Keep stirring. Keep stirring. Oh, my 
gosh, it is so goopy. <laughs> it is very goopy, isn't it? I'm gonna use all your Michaela muscles in there. This is a big batch. Normally we make them smaller when we have the whole classroom in here. This is a big, big size batch. Oh my gosh. Can we do it? No. No. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let me see. How'd you do? You did pretty well here. <laughs> That's not bad. All right. Yeah. On onto the tabletop. We're gonna take it. Whoa, and I cannot believe I can take this much slime. So, Michaela, what kind of a reaction did we just make? Think back to what we've done in science class. What well, kind of a reaction? We made a chemical reaction. We absolutely did. Do you know why it's a chemical reaction? Oh my goodness, it's just still coming, honey. Look at this. Do you know why it's a chemical reaction? Yes. What did we Because do? borax mm -hmm. is has chemicals. Well, yes, this is true. But do you remember to make a chemical reaction? You have to create brand new matter. Do you remember that? Yeah. So we took glue, water, and a little bit of borax. It just keeps coming to Kayla. Look at this, it's like the slime that will not stop. <laughs> and we added all those ingredients together, mixed them around a bit, and we made brand new matter. Totally new type of matter than we had before. We made slime. Okay, and the more you use it, the less it will stick, which is a good thing for your hands. And it's kind of rubbery, it's kind of flubbery. Bounces a little bit. Hey, remember about that rubbery? What was that called? What's it called? Flubbery. Flubber. Oh, flubber. flubber. That's a different kind of slime for another show, girly. There's all sorts of kind of slime recipes we could use. What do you think? I love it. Pretty fun. Three simple ingredients: Elmer's glue, water, and borax from the laundry aisle at the grocery store. Yep. Pretty fun stuff. And if you like colors, you can put the food coloring in like we did. Otherwise, it turns out white. What do you think? I like it. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Now our second science experiment, we are going to be doing film canister rockets. Oh, so much fun and another easy one to do at home. All right, Miss Michaela. The film canister. We need to pop the top off of that. You know how to do that? No, no, we're looking. That's okay. Pop the top off. Boop. All right. And you see where I have the line marked with water? Yep. I want you to pour a little bit of water just to that line. All right. Now like the slime that we made earlier, this is another chemical reaction that's going to happen. So a film canister, we need water, which we've got, and then we need some cold medicine. Cold medicine that bubbles. You pour it in, you put the tablet into the water and it will bubble. All right, any, any brand will do. This is just what the store happened to have while I was there. But any brand of bubbly cold medicine will work. So open up that container, Miss Michaela. All right. Only needs one. You're going to open up that package. There'll be two tablets in there. We only need one of them. It smells orange. Oh, it smells like orange-ish, yes. Absolutely. All right. So now, a little help from me. What we need to do, I think we should practice. Let's put the tablet down for just a minute. Practice putting the cap on quickly because once this chemical reaction starts to happen, you need to hear a little snap. There it went. Because in order for the chemical reaction to work proper, we have to have this on really tight. And if any air can get out before we want it to, it's not going to work well. So do it a couple more times so you know that you can get that top on quick. There it went. I think you've got it. Now, once we put the tablet in, you're going to put the lid on quick and you're going to take it right like that. And then tick, tock, tick, tock. And then we'll wait to see what happens. Okay. All right. Do you think we should have safety goggles? Yeah. I think we'll get some safety goggles. <laughs> All right, so we've got our safety goggles on, just in case. Safety first always is important. Michaela thinks she's ready to be able to put that cap on as tightly as she can, quick as possible. Quick, quick, quick. Cover it up. Flip it upside down. And now we're going to wait. We're going to be patient. Ooh. <laughs> Excellent! Michaela, do you know why that just happened? What just happened with that? Oh, I 
get it because they're they're made out of some sort of chemicals that make them bubble and then make the water go kaboom. Well, when it bubbles, do you remember what kind of gas that's making? Hmm. Carbon dioxide. Yes, all of those bubbles that are coming off of what's left of that cold tablet is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is gas. So when that gas got trapped inside of this film canister, after a while there was no more room for it. So it had to get out. And so it got out by shooting off the top. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Thank you, Miss Salters, for taking your time and doing the show with me. I'm glad you came on the show with me. No problem. It's a lot of fun. Science, science rules. You know, it's one of my favorite things ever. Yeah. Good stuff. I've been your host, Michaela Thomas. Kids was where knowledge is power. Brown. John Brown was an abolitionist who freed 
many slaves. He was doing this with Harriet Tubman. John Brown raided Harper's Ferry and freed many, many slaves. But unfortunately, this led to his demise and he was hung on December 2nd, 1854. Hello, my name is Louise Andros and I am on my history project on Walt Disney. He makes a lot of people laugh and he created a love for dry at a very young age and he created his own business.
because it's made of high density polyethylene. much more than that. Okay, so now you put a cold tablet, you know the ones that bubble that you can get them from the store. You're going to grab the tap first, the top first, and then you're going to drop that tablet in there, and you're going to quickly snap the top. There it went. And then, okay. then you put it down, wait, and then you wait. We're going to be patient. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> and explosively. Okay, what's left? <laughs> Knowledge is power. power.